Hey, welcome to Side New with JW. This is to Side New number 65, my message. So what I wanted to go ahead and do with this video is just kind of go back over, you know, what my message is overall and, uh, you know, what I've been doing over the last 65 days uh, on my road to 365 days of videos. So 365 videos in 365 days. And I, I really just wanted to put out, you know, exactly what, what my message is for those that, you know, kind of don't understand what it is exactly or you know might have just popped in on this video recently or this series of videos recently uh, my message is simple you know everything is grounded in my decide and do philosophy and I truly believe that life is as simple as decide and do um, but the difference with that is you know we, we're all told as little kids you know hey you could do whatever you want to you can do whatever you want to if you put your mind to it and for a lot of us we believe that and then when we, we grew up we realized that damn that is not the truth that life is really not as simple as just you know like hey you decide on it and then, and you do it uh, and because of that you know we, we kind of have this like false sense of hope in looking at the future and well, well you know so my teacher told me or grandma told me or whoever told me you know if I put my mind to it I could do it and you know I put my mind to it and, and I wasn't able to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish and, and the reason for that is I think that you know as we're told that and it is true I do believe I honestly do believe that life is you know you can whatever you want to do you put your mind to it you can accomplish it in life however what what you know is forgotten and what they don't talk about and what they don't tell us is the mental mind shift inside you have to make that you know mental connection and realize that you have to change the way that you think about life you have to change the way that you look at things you have to go ahead and have a completely different mindset of just this you know naive well I, I put my mind to it and, and no like you actually have to make that mental shift and the reason I think that is because you know when I, when I was growing up you know I was told the same things that everyone else was told and, and uh, I joined a profession at a very young age and that was my dream, you know, and it was very simple. However, once, you know, I got into actual life and I got into, you know, growing up and I got into, you know, adulthood, um, I realized that life is not that simple. Life is much more difficult, you know, than it was kind of portrayed at this early age. So my message is, is look, I have been through so many different things, uh, you know, trials and tribulations, uh, headaches and heartaches, and I really didn't know what the heck I was doing in life, and I really didn't know, uh, you know, where I could go in life and the, the my full potential until I actually made that mental mind shift, and I actually realized that, you know, one life sucks, uh, and it and it's hard and it's difficult, but once we change what we think of life and once we change how we look at life it doesn't suck anymore you know uh, where I am now right right this moment I mean my life is great and and I could not be happier with where I am right now in this moment exactly you know uh, you know yesterday was great the day before that was great the last five years have been great however uh, prior to that you know the ten years before that in in my profession were, were just good they were you know they were I was content with them uh, and you know my first 17 years of growing up was just like it was kind of there and and I'm able to look at that and I'm able to see all the different things that I've went through you know in the last 15 years alone I've went through two divorces I've went through uh, suicide attempts suicidal thought I've went through uh, depression I've went through you know heartache and headache I went through uh, you know not financial ruin necessarily but on the brink of it uh, I've went through you know child custody disputes I've went through uh, just so many different things and you know although some of those things are still ongoing you know they, they are they are much I, I am much more uh, understanding of, of the situation and, and really understanding of how to take care of the situation than I was earlier on in life because I didn't make that mental mind shift uh, and I didn't make the change and realize look like sometimes life is gonna throw everything it's got at you and that's fine because if you know how to navigate it you know how to go ahead and see that that this is life you're able to to not not react to it but you're able to be proactive and get ahead of it on so many different levels where you can get to a place where you are not not content with life but you are ecstatic of where where you are 
where you are in life overall and where I am right now in life I'm ecstatic I love I love every single day you know I, I couldn't be happier with it and, and I couldn't be happier with where I'm gonna go in my future because I know what it takes now I know that now actually putting my mind to it the possibility is endless the, you know the, the possibilities are endless of where I'm gonna go in the next 10 years the next 15 years the next 50 years it, it is limitless compared to where I was five ten years ago and I didn't know where I was gonna go I didn't know if I was gonna live the next day I didn't know if I was gonna be here tomorrow type you know mindset and type, what, the, the way that I was thinking about life so overall you know what I think my my message is is look at the end of the day, everything that I talk about on a day-to-day -day basis, every video that I throw out there is based off of something that I've went through. It's based off of you know my, my foundational decide and do philosophy and how I know that once you actually make that you know mental mind shift uh, and you start really believing in yourself and you start to see that the potential is there and you start actually you know pulling back the onion and, and kind of tapping into the potential, Look, your life is only limited by where you put those limits. Like, it really is, you know? Once you start to rearrange your vocabulary and you start getting rid of all the can'ts and won'ts and don't and all that crap, you can do whatever you actually want to. And you can do what, you know, your, your teachers told you in school and what your, your grandparents or parents told you earlier on in life. Like, if you put your mind to it, you can do whatever you want. But it's only, only, only after we mentally adjust and mentally get, you know, focused on the overall goal of what we want to do and realize that we got to put in the work. We've got to put in that, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears, the hard work, the dedication, and we have to understand that and we have to work our butt off for it. And we have to sacrifice the day for, you know, uh, the, the excitement and enjoyment tomorrow. And when we start to do all those things, things start to fall into place and, you know, I, like I said, I know where I'm going to go in the future and it's only because I've made the mental mind shift, you know, five to seven years ago and where I've been able to go within the last five years is, is geez, it's, it's three, four times more than I did the first 10 years within this profession I, and I know that. And I, I'm now able to, you know, explain to, you know, my employees and explain to my family and friends the same exact message that I'm throwing out there to, to all of you that, you know, the public that literally you are the most important individual you at the end of the day every single day you have to truly believe that and you have to believe in yourself and you have to see that and you have to realize that if you don't believe in yourself and you don't think that you're the most important individual you're not going to make that mental mind shift you're not gonna see your potential you're not gonna tap into it and you're not gonna go from where you are to where you want to be and that's the truth that's at the, at the end of the day that's as simple as, as it is you, you gotta decide on what you want to do in life you got to realize you got to understand that you are important you are the most important individual every single day in every single way and then go out there and do it go out and do what you put your mind to go out and do what you make that decision on and because once you once you've adjusted and once you realize that life does life life becomes so much easier in so many different ways uh, but until then you, you kind of just are out there living and that's what I did I did that for a long time and, and I'm glad that I don't do it anymore I'm, I'm overly ecstatic that I don't do that anymore and I'm overly ecstatic that I am able to you know be fortunate enough to have all these experiences even the bad ones and, and throw them out there for you to see and realize that you know what everybody goes through certain things everybody goes through you know crap that just really sucks and you can get through it you can absolutely get through it and at the end of the day when you get through it and you make that adjustment you realize and you know how not to get back to where you were you know, you, you, you know that there was a road behind you that you've, you've gotten through, but you can look back and you can see it, but you don't have to ever turn around and go back down it. So that's really all, all it is. And that's really my message overall is just, you know, decide and do. Life is that simple. Believe in yourself and understand that at the end of the day, once you make that mental mind shift, you truly can do everything you put your mind to. So until my next video, thanks for watching Decide and Do number 65. All right. I, I do appreciate it. You know, I think about the last 65 days, and if if you like the video, hit like, share it, put it out there to somebody that you think needs this stuff. Uh, because um, I, I understand that not everybody does. I understand not everybody needs you know self help. And they might not need that little extra oomph. But there are those individuals that do. And you know, me, even me, I didn't think that I needed a lot of things. Uh, but denial is this cool place that a lot of people live in. That 
you know, once you break out of, you realize it's not that cool. So uh, if you need to, throw it out there to those individuals. I, I don't mind, you know, I don't mind that I get one view and I don't mind that I get 50 views. Uh, I am completely content with whatever it is because the message is getting out there overall and hopefully it is impacting one or two individuals and it spreads like wildfire that way because that's, that's all at the end of the day I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to get through and make sure that, you know, you don't go through the same things that I went through. Uh, and if you're able to learn from my mistakes, then that's great. And if you're able to see that once you truly start believing in yourself, you can do whatever you want to, that, that is all I want at the end of the day. So until my next video, thanks for watching.